Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to talk about the top 10 underrated survivor perks in Dark by Daylight. First I want to speculate that this is my opinion and if anyone else has a different one, you know that's totally fine. Uh, just leave it in the comments because I love reading what you guys have to say. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. On the number 10 spot, I have one of my personal favorite perks that I used to use when I was a beginner, and that perk is Empathy. Empathy reveals uh, injured survivors or to you on a range of 128 meters, basically the whole map. Um, I don't think, I don't really think Empathy is so underrated. I, I think people know how good it is, but you know, it, I still wanted to mention it in this list because I just don't see many people use it anymore. Maybe it's because of the new HUD system that we have that you can see, you know, what your teammates are doing all the time if they're on a gen or if they're getting chased. So I guess Empathy somewhat lost some of its value. But regardless, seeing where your injured teammates are at all times, at any range, is pretty good. You can tell where the survivor is and where they're getting chased, where the killer is. And yeah, it's basically double volume. On the number 9th spot, we have Desperate Measures. Desperate Measures gives you a staggle of 14% speed boost to healing and unhooking for every injured survivor. This perk is not the greatest. I mean, I would argue actually that other perks do what it does better. Although that unhooking speed can often come in clutch in situations where you would have had to take a trade a hook with another survivor, the unhook speed can buy you extra time to avoid that situation. So you can save the survivor and not get a trade and can both get out. The number 8 perk on this list is Lucky Break. Lucky Break removes your scratch marks and pools of blood for 60 seconds upon being injured. You can also gain 1 second of Lucky Break duration for every second you spend healing another survivor. This perk is so good for making the killer lose you in a chase and you can combine it with other perks like Overcom or Life to make it even stronger at losing the killer. Alright, at the number 7 spot, we have Boon Shadow Step. Where to even begin with this one? Being in the Boon's radius, you leave no scratch marks and your aura won't be revealed to the killer. Basically, it removes two of the killer's tracking abilities. This is so strong and people don't appreciate this perk enough. Could use a small buff to be an amazing perk, but it is really good now. People are just lazy to set up boons, and with totem spawns that sometimes spawn on top of main buildings like the Temple of Purgation or on the uh, Temple on the Eye of Crows, uh, the killer usually won't even bother to go upstairs to close the boon unless you run by them while you're being chased, or if you get down like close to them. Even if the killer does though, they will be wasting their time and they give you a chance to escape a chase or do whatever you want during that time, so yeah, it's a win-win situation basically. This next perk will be a little bit of a controversial one, uh, but at number 6 I have Deception. Deception allows you to run by a locker, press D to enter, and instead of entering the locker, you make the locker open and close, leaving a sound for the killer and it removes your scratch marks for 3 seconds. In theory, it doesn't sound so good, but trust me when I tell you, killers fall for this one more often than never. I skip so many chases because of this perk, and it's so funny, so yeah, it is a nice bonus. Alright, we're halfway through the list, and at the number 5 spot, I have Alert. Alert reveals the killer's aura to you for 5 seconds after they break a pallet, a wall, or the kick a generator. These perks goes off so many times during the game, you get a ton of value out of it, and it's very passive so you don't really have to do anything to activate it, it just activates so yeah, it's a pretty nice chill perk that you can use for value. So the number first spot is gonna be another really really controversial one and we got Iron Will. Iron Will re reduces your grants of pain while injured by 75% but it does not work while you're exhausted. So, unless the killer is playing the game with max volume and you aren't running any exhaustion perks other than that hard, uh, this perk will do wonders for you. If you like going for flashlight saves, this perk is huge, so you can be more stealthy close by to the killer, then go for the save, and yeah. Uh, but it also it's a nice bonus if you enjoy being more stealthy, this perk is honestly for you. Alright, now we're getting on the good stuff. On number 3, my personal favorite 
perk in the game is Balance Landing. Balance Landing gives you a 50% haste after falling from a height, so basically you're running at 150% speed. Uh, it reduces your stagger from falling by 75%, and it also reduces the volume of the sounds you make from falling by 100%. So what Balance Landing has going for it uh, that other perks don't is that it has a stealth element into it. Uh, so like you can fall from a height and the kill pub will have no idea, but we fell, so yeah. It is very unexpected, uh, so the killer can't know if you have Balance Landing or not, so that's a huge plus, because you can beg a killer to follow you on like a ledge or like a hill or something. And you're pretty much wasting their time because you're just gonna balance landing away and make it to another loop. So basically, balance landing gives you a second, like, gives you an extra loop. Basically, like those heels that normally don't really do anything for you. Yeah, you can basically use balance landing on them, and it does make it like it's another loop for you. The only problem with balance landing is that it's pretty map dependent. But in the maps, it shines. Like RPD, the game, Haddonfield, to name a few. It's probably the best perk to run in those maps. Alright, do not hate me for this one, and do not judge me, okay, but on the number two spot for underrated perks for survivors in Dead by Daylight, we have made for this. I feel like after it's nerfed, people like kind of stopped using this perk because, you know, you don't get the 3% haste anymore when every time you're injured, but I feel like people forgot that this perk has a secondary effect. It gives you endurance for 10 seconds after healing someone. This can actually alone be really, really strong for anti-slugging or anti-healing or taking hits for your teammates after you pick them up from the ground. Bro, this perk is actually great still. It is a direct counter to like Legion and Deathslinger because they put you in deep wounds straight up. But yeah, personally, I like combining made for this with um, the number one perk on this list. It is Circle of Healing. Boon. Circle of Healing. Okay, hear me out on this one. Dude, people think that Circle of Healing died after its quote-unquote nerf. But what if I told you this perk is still strong as hell? 100% healing speed bonus if you're in its range. And it reveals injured teammates or us. It's basically where we'll make it for the whole team. With an added empathy effect. It's amazing for anti-healing. It literally can't just sloppy butcher, which is one of the strongest killer perks right now. It's great for anti-slugging because you can pick up your teammates up faster. It's great for fast team resets, like if two or three of you are in the boon, you can literally heal all of you in like, I don't know, 16 seconds or something like, for real, it's great. It is also a message to your team that, you know, you're literally in its range and you need healing. So, and also it's a nice information to show them where you are. I can honestly go on and on why this perk is so strong. People really underestimate it. it. Has been carrying many of my games this past few months, and it's in all of all of my builds. People are just too selfish to run a perk that helps the team, but you don't realize it helps you as well indirectly, because you know, like you burn it up, you'll heal your teammates in it, but it will also heal you, so it does help you indirectly, but it does. And if honestly, if you're not running circle of healing, now's the time to start. Alright, that was the list for the 10 most underrated survivor perks in Dead by Daylight. Moreover though, you can catch me live on Twitch almost every day for some boosted Dead by Daylight gameplay, or just chill and chat and talk with me. I'm pretty awesome at talking, and I'm pretty entertaining. What are your thoughts, and which perks do you think should have been included on this list? Let me know in the comments, please. Alright, till next time guys, I'll see you around, bye bye.